Papone's EP team brings unique ideas, shaking the EP world. In this episode 7 of the EP World Live series, you'll witness another breakthrough approach in long QT syndrome ablation, performed by Professor Carlo Papone and his teammate Professor Giuseppe Ciconte, and moderated by Professor Fermin Garcia. Witness a fresh, innovative technique to perform safe and effective epicardial access. From the experts, you will also learn to recognize and map the epicardial arrhythmogenic substrate. And at the end of the live case, you will be able to define ablation strategy and procedural endpoints. Take the opportunity to participate with Papone's EP team. Click the sign up button below to register. More than 30,000 healthcare professionals from over 50 countries have already witnessed the EP World Live series. Check out the important moments from the last episode. In our experience, uh, in the last 10 years, uh, we assessed the, the, the physiology of the cells uh, and the omic. And exploring the proteomics, uh, we found that in our patient, uh, there is an overactivation of uh, immune system. And uh, this is explained by the overactivation of uh, interferon pathway in Brugada patient. And recently, we demonstrated uh, in, the, in the blood the presence uh, of uh, autoantibody responsible for the increase of the sodium channel dysfunction because if we have a patient uh, with a sodium channel uh, uh, dysfunction, uh, um, independently of the use of uh, antiarrhythmic drugs like Eichmarin, we can uh, reproduce, we can reproduce uh, the, the effect of the Eichmarin is just injecting the autoantibodies into the mouse. In this case, uh, we don't need uh, to administrate the entire dose of Eichmarin. It's not necessary because uh, clearly we are recording uh, prolongation of abnormal activity and uh, the region uh, is uh, well uh, defined uh, on the output rat. Carlo, I have a question. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You have been very convincing here, showing very well. Uh, when, you, when you don't have the pattern, you still can have an abnormal substrate, but that substrate may be smaller than what you need. So you give a jamaline to to avoid missing some area that you need to ablate. And this message is very important, I think. What about the other way around? If you have the pattern, uh, do you need to give um, a jamaline because it may be too small, the area that you have, or when you have the pattern live, it's enough and you don't need to give the jamaline? Yeah, we want to identify uh, every single cell with the sodium channel dysfunction. and. Uh, at baseline, usually we have uh, sleeping cells and very active cells. And uh, with Eichmann, we have the real dimension of the substrate. At baseline, uh, we found uh, a, a smaller substrate. Can you compare with the previous substrate, Beniamino? Yes. See the difference? Yeah, very The different. substrate without Eichmann was... Uh, was a smaller yeah, yeah well, it's uh, clear very different but here you can see clearly that the the signal is nice narrow no late yeah, yeah. activity no late activity well huh? yeah beautiful beautiful case carlo this is a, an amazing demonstration of your technique <laughs>